Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll see how we can write a Java program to check if a given number is a Smith number. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2008 practical paper. According to the question, a Smith number is a composite number, the sum of whose digits is the sum of the digits of its prime factors obtained as a result of prime factorization excluding 1. The first few such numbers are 4, 22, 27, 58, 85, 94, 121 and so on. So let's try to understand this with an example. Consider the number 666. The prime factors of this number are 2, 3, 3 and 37. Now sum of the digits is 6 plus 6 plus 6 which is 18 and if you find the sum of the digits of the prime factors also, so 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus the digits of 37 which is 3 plus 7, so all total it's coming to 18 and this is the reason why 666 is a Smith number. Let's take another example. This is another number where you can see the prime factors are listed. The sum of the digits is coming to 42. And again, the sum of the digits of the prime factors is also coming to 42. And that's why this given number is also a Smith number. So we need to write a program to input a number and display whether the number is a Smith number or not. Let's begin. So here I've created a file smith.java. Let's start with the import statement. Then we create our class and the main function. Inside main, we create our scanner object. And now we ask the user to enter a number. We are taking it as an integer. So int num equals integer dot percent int dot next line. Next, we'll be creating a user defined method to find the sum of the digits of a given number. Before we proceed with main, Let's create that function. So public static int sum of digits int num. So let's take sum as zero. Now while num is greater than zero, sum plus is equal to num modulus 10 and num divide by equal to 10 and after this we return the sum. Once we have this function we can now use it in our main method. So I can now find the sum of the digits of the original number. So I can write int sum is equal to sum of digits of the number num. Next, I need to generate the prime factors of this number num. And I have to find the sum of uh, the digits of those prime factors as well. So I can keep another sum variable ready. So sum prime is equal to zero. Let's give the name sum prime and we can start with the number p as two because we know that the smallest possible prime number is two. So this is going to be the smallest factor, prime factor. So we are going to start p with two and uh, while 
num is greater than zero or I should say while num is greater than one because as soon as we reach one we should stop. So while num is greater than one we need to uh, check that as long as this number is divisible by the current prime number p that means this p is a factor prime factor of the number so in that case i have to add sum prime plus is equal to sum of digits of this number p and at the same time num divide by equal to p and then we increase the counter of p. So that's how we can find the sum of the digits of the prime factors. And now outside this loop, if the sum is equal to sum prime, then we can say it is a Smith number else it is not a Smith number. So that's the program. Let's check the output. Enter the number. If I enter triple six, it's a Smith number. And if I check 94, this is also a Smith number. And if I check, let's say triple nine, that's not a Smith number. So that's the program. I hope you have understood how to write a Java program to check for Smith numbers. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.